Yes, ladies and gentlemen, clap it up, clap it up, because it's finally here, it's finally here, Trollbot Gaming has arrived, and now I'm beginning with Worldbox, so... Since I am feeling so excited today because we actually get to start on Trollbot Gaming, let's close up this tab up and let's open up on our new world. Wow, this is icy. <laughs> yeah, this was much icier than expected, but I can improve on it. And also, that volcano is looking very unsatisfactory. Yeah, I do not want this volcano ruining my world. Yeah, it's pretty hard doing this because I tend to work things poorly. So, yeet, you can do this with lightning. Yeah, that's how you move the volcano in this game. <laughs> or at least make it inactive. Or if you want to reactivate the volcano, you can just use a temperature button. See? It's easy! Now, now since I prefer my whole being intact... Okay. And the world you're seeing here is now almost completely covered in permafrost. Which is right there. The permafrost seas. Grass is cold as ice. It's pretty much impossible to burn. So, my demonstration? Well, apparently not. Let's put that out with some wall. <laughs> yeah, things tend to burn shorter in permafrost. Now let's add seeds of human life. How about let's start up in the north. Yeah, the yeah, it almost automatically starts a grouping. Whenever you place humans up on the ground, it automatically classifies them into a kingdom. This kingdom being Holy Pass, as you now see. You can also put this with animals. But unlike, but unlike the animals, they do not form their own kingdoms. You see, when I put some monkeys and rabbits down, the kingdoms did not activate. where I would work better on my wording of things. Now let's put some crabs. Some toads. You, but when you try to put a piranha up on the ground, as you can see, it dies immediately. Now you can put some snowmen, because they basically belong to the ice. Now, yeah, this might not be the only kingdom. So, to make sure it has some neighbors. Neighbors. Let's have some have them stationed somewhere near rivers. Neighbors. But you don't want humans on two small landscapes, or, or else they will not form civilizations. Sometimes they do, but it's very, very unlikely.
As you can see, that's a beehive. Okay, and yeah, let's put more civilizations up on this edge. See, there we go. Now let's put some this on this body of water. <laughs> <laughs> I like how a new village formed and then got destroyed immediately and replaced by another village. That was fun. And also place it. And as you can see, if you place anything on the mountains, it automatically gets hurt. Because mountains are steep. That's better. Ooh, let's see our civilizations getting more complex. Now let's put Fun fact, my favorite rapper is Kendrick Lamar. And my favorite song by him is Family Ties. The part at the beginning. That's all you need to really know. Also, if you cool down the lava, it automatically turns to rock. As it would in the real world. But if you strike the make it with rock, but if you but if you reactivate the volcano, yeah, it would melt because the volcano is spewing off of melting the rock. You know I'm just saying the obvious. Okay. Oh, you can also do that. It, it also sometimes pushes people. Now... Now let's meet this to activate the volcano and it <laughs> we put some people near the volcano. can also make tr hate people you can also make kingdoms go to war with each other which is my favorite part of the game now let's do this this is how you do it put a whisper of war into someone and they automatically declare war on to the kingdom you touch on When you hit the pause button, you can allow for more kingdoms to join the war you started. Okay. <laughs> and you see, that kingdom is kind of getting bought. The whole echo cell is kind of getting bought. And a lack of sun is expanding. And let's see if Holy Vi can catch a lack of sun. A lacking. Ah! <laughs> Even I admit that joke was stupid. And, and apparently they can catch them a lacking. Why do I repeat that stupid joke?
Where's the crabs? 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 Oh, it's in under that file. <laughs> Blocks made that noise. He, there are some hostile animals to humans that are automatically attacked because they're obviously hostile. So, if you try to place crocodiles near humans, they'll, in, they'll instantly go to battle. <laughs> As you can see, the moods can change. Change. You got the normal mood, then you got the sad mood, and then you got the angry mood, and then you got the happy mood. Miracle board means that you automatically drop them into the world. It only acquires the humans that you specifically drop. Voices in my head means that means that they are influenced by, P by others. Usually it's when you have uh, usually it's when you have kingdoms declare war on each other. And Kingslayer means that they killed a king. Obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna let this play out. <laughs> Wait, what was that guy's name? <laughs> Croc Croc Ha Keely. Okay, that is that is automatically he's automatically a boss. I'm gonna wait for this war to happen. Remember, you can also move humans. You can also move things with magnets and you can draw people into lava. It looks like a lack of sun is getting conquered. And it did. Partially. Wait, they missed the spots. Oh, there are some over them, and and their hopes are diminished. It seems we like they're making kind of a comeback. Like, and it's getting ink into a back and forth. Okay, 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 and a lack of sun is destroyed. Well, that's the end of the video, everybody. Please help to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Since this war and the war of the lack of sun has ended. Later, fools!